This is how you can use sub commands in your discord.js version 14 bot, so let's go ahead and get into it. Before I show you how to do this, I would like to say that you can actually get paste bins of my codes by joining my membership. You can do this by clicking the join button next to my username or clicking the link in the description of this video. If you get the super god or custom bot tier, you will get access to the codes, meaning you can actually copy and paste the code from my videos into your bot or website. If you get the custom bot tier, then me and my team will code you a personalized custom discord bot. If this is of interest to you, go ahead and click that join button next to my username and let's actually go ahead and get into the video. Now before I actually show you how to do this, I would like to show you what subcommands actually are because these can be a little bit confusing. So what a subcommand is, is when you do slash, let's say anti-link for example, as you can see here, these are subcommands. So the original command in the original command file is anti-link and then you have disable, edit, setup, and check so that you can use multiple commands within one. This is very useful for a lot of different systems and features for Discord bots. So let's actually go ahead and jump into the coding of this. We're gonna go over to community here and we're just gonna go ahead and create sub.js. In here we can get our slash command builder. So we can do const, we're gonna do slash command builder, and then we can do equals require, and we're gonna get discord.js. Then we can do module.exports equals, we'll go ahead and open this up. Data, we're gonna do new slash command builder. We can go ahead and set a name, and this is going to be sub command. We can go ahead and set a description, and this is going to be this is the sub sub command guide. Now the description here is very redundant. You're actually never going to see this description. You're only going to see the description of the actual sub command. So now we're going to go ahead and create our first sub command. Now you can create a bunch of different sub commands for one command, but we're just going to go ahead and create one or two just so I can show you how this works. Start off, we're going to come down here and we're just going to do dot add sub command. We can go ahead and open this up and we're just going to do command and then we're going to do arrow function and then we're going to do a space here or an enter and we're just going to go ahead and do command and then we're going to come down here. Now this is where we're going to put all of our information so we can do dot set name and for our name we can just go ahead and do test. Then we can come down here again and do dot set description and we can say this is the sub command test and that's all we have to do now you can treat this like a normal command what i mean by that is you could add a string option or you could add a user option it doesn't really matter just treat this like a normal command and then when you're done you can just add a comma you can come down here and you can just do async execute and then you can do interaction and then you can just open it up just like you would usually do now that we've actually created one sub command we're actually going to go ahead and register that sub command and then we can actually go ahead and create more. To do that, we're gonna do const command, and then we can do equals, and we're gonna do interaction to options, and we're gonna get our sub command just like that. Now we can go ahead and actually register this command like I was saying before. So to do this, we're gonna do switch, and then we're just gonna do command, and then we can just go ahead and open this up, and we're just gonna say case, and in here, we're gonna get the name of the actual sub command. So for me, it's just gonna be test. And then we're gonna do a colon. And then every line of code in these brackets beyond this case right here is going to be fired upon using the actual sub command. Uh, so we can just do wait interaction to reply. And we can say content and we can say this is a sub command. And we'll make this informal as well. So now we can actually go ahead and run this and just to see if it's working. And then we can go ahead and actually make some more sub commands so I can show you what to do with them. Before I show you this feature, I would just like to talk about the open tutorial bot for just a second. So this application is the exact same application I use in every single one of my videos. It has my previous, my upcoming, and the commands I'm actually currently working on in it. And I have made it public. So if you would like to add it to your servers to test out my upcoming or previous videos, feel free to do that. The link will be in the description. So with this application, we're going to actually go ahead and use our sub command so we can do sub command And as you can see here the original command just slash sub command is not going to show up The sub command test is going to show up So if we go ahead and click on that as you can see It's going to say this is a sub command if we go back into the code We can actually go ahead and create one more sub command just to illustrate this even better So we can come down here and do add sub command and we can do command arrow function and we'll do command dot set name And in here we're going to go ahead and get our command to just like that and then we can do dot set description and we can say this is sub command 2 and that's all we have to do so now we can actually come down here and we can switch to our other sub command so we can do switch and we're going to get command and we're going to come down here and we're going to do case and then we're just going to go ahead and input our command 2 because that's the name of the sub command 
and then we can just do wait interaction dot reply. We we'll say content, and we can say this is sub command two, and we're gonna make this informal as well. So now, if we go back over to the actual Discord, we can do sub command again, and as you can see, now we have sub command test and sub command command two. So now, if we go ahead and run that command, it's gonna say this is sub command two, and if we do sub command here, it's gonna go ahead and say this is a sub command. So like I mentioned before, for my anti-link system, um, I have setup, I have edit, I have check, and I have disable. So for example, to set it up, I would do anti-link setup, I would choose my permissions, and then I would have it set up. So that would be a example of a sub command in an actual application. If this worked for you, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. If you need help with this, go ahead and join the server in the description below, and we'll be able to help you out. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.